uh, this video is demonstrate uh, to how to use FX PCT tool. Uh, it is a software to make the program for the controllers. Uh, today, the program uh, we will make uh, we make the program is for uh, PCB controller. Uh, PCB controller. Uh, it's, it, it's this one. PCB controller. Uh, let's review the components of these controllers first. Uh, the bottom part here. <coughs> bottom part here. Uh, these terminals. Uh, these terminals. The SD bus. SD bus uh, is here. Yeah. SA bus. Uh, this is the uh, the I uh, I O module. Uh, I O module will connect to these terminals. SA bus, uh, which is an uh, input output module. Uh, those are signals input to here. Right. Also, some thermostat and occupancy sensor can connect to these terminals. <coughs> and this is the FC bus. Uh, FC bus is uh, here. It's the FC bus. FC bus. And this is the SA bus. FC bus is connect the controllers uh, uh, in basic tray in the system. So this is the FC bus. And here it is the universal input, uh, which is a uh, Analog input, uh, like the uh, temperature, uh, the pressure signal can input connect to here, input to here, yeah, input one, input two, input three, uh, they connect to either one. Uh, and between S A bus and S D bus, there is a switch. Uh, this is a switch. This switch. This is an end of line switch. E, this controller is connected in at the end of the uh, segment in the system. And this switch uh, must be set to on. Position. And the top part here, uh, the top part here, these two terminals. This two terminal is the 24 volts uh, power supply to the controller. Uh, this power 24 volts power supply is for the uh, controller operation. And here, this part, uh, this part, this is a, a dip switch. Uh, dip switch. Dip switch is used to set the uh, controller address. Is a dip switch, and here, this one here, is a binary output, uh, binary output, uh, which is a on off, uh, on off. So this signal is used to turn on or turn off a uh, system or or equipment. Uh, here is a configurable. <coughs> output signal. It uh, could be binary, could be uh, analog signal. Uh, this is an output, output, configurable output. And these two tube, uh, these two tube, is connected to the uh, VV box, uh, the pre uh, pressure sensor. Uh, it sends the uh, velocity pressure, it's a differential pressure. The signal, the input to the controller, and this connector, uh, this connect is eight pins connector. This connector, uh, the thermostat, uh, the thermostat can connect to uh, this to here. The thermostat. Also, the Bluetooth uh, device. Bluetooth device can connect to here. Uh, Bluetooth device is used for the uh, communication between the computer and the, uh, uh, and the controller. Uh, so 
Bluetooth uh, device is connectable, this, uh, this connector. And here, these are some indicator lights. Uh, these are some indicator lights. Uh, here, indicate the power, the power supply to the controller. And here, will uh, indicate some fault. Uh, here, indicate some fault. And this is an SB bus indicator. Uh, if some device connects to uh, SB bus, then the here uh, indicates. And N2 here, this is another, uh, another network system. Uh, this is another network system. And <coughs> this, with an X, this, this indicate N indicator end of line because uh, if this is on the end of line switch is on and here the indicates the, uh, the light is on and <coughs> this one this is the uh, overwrite uh, overwrite here overwrite if you press it uh, if you press it and then you can manually Move the damper shaft. Uh, damper sh you can move uh, the damper shaft to adjust the damper position, which is a, uh, like a latch, uh, like a latch. To release, to release the uh, damper shaft, they can move, uh, move the damper shaft. And the damper shaft, uh, damper shaft will connect, uh, install here, uh, install here. This is a set screw, set screw. Hold to hold the uh, the damper shaft, uh, and then here is uh, <coughs> uh, some uh, screw for the uh, mounting for mounting uh, the controller. Right. So these are the, all the components uh, of this controller. Now we start to build the program for the uh, for PV, uh, PCV controller. Uh, start uh, start this program. We uh, built we built this program uh, for PCV controller. Uh, this is a new project. So we start the file. Uh, make a new. Make a deal. Now, if uh, if the uh, uh, you have you have complete a program, you have a, a, a program already, then you can open the program. Uh, now we built uh, this pro uh, we built this uh, new one, new project. Uh, so this here is the system name. Uh, system name you can put any name here. Uh, you can uh, put any name here. This is a this program is for PCV controller. Uh, PCV controller is for uh, a VAV box. So we name here, uh, we name here uh, VAV box. Uh, uh, winter uh, 2021. Uh, winter 2021. And here, uh, the system type here, you can see here there are many different type modules. Here, this is an air handle unit, uh, a fan coil, uh, this is a unit ventilators and heat pump, uh, VAV box, central heating, uh, central cooling plant, uh, many different modules here. So, but this one is for VAV box. Uh, so we select uh, VAV box. And VAV box, the system configuration here will show you a different type, uh, single duct or dual duct. So uh, they will select the uh, single duct, uh, single duct. And here the system units, uh, you can select uh, metric system, you can select imperial system. Uh, so we select the uh, uh, imperial system here, okay? one and then okay 
So this is the, uh, <coughs> the project we are going to, uh, to build. Here, this is a mechanical system, uh, which means uh, this controller will control the VAV box. Uh, what the components in the VAV box system. Right? And here is the supply damper actuator. Supply uh, damper actuator. These control, uh, this control, they have different way. Uh, this uh, integrate uh, act, uh, actuator. Uh, here is the propor uh, proportional actuator, and this is an incremental actuator. A different, uh, different way to, uh, to control the damper. Right? So we here depends the the system you have, uh, depends the system you have, and we select. Uh, so we select the, uh, the first one here, and here this is the exhaust damper actuator. Then this one, no exhaust, uh, no exhaust uh, damper, exhaust damper, no, we don't have, right? And the box fan, we don't have, so leave it empty. And this is the coil. Uh, the coil is for heating or cooling. Uh, um, the heating we use, uh, we use, uh, we use the supplemental, uh, supplemental heating. We don't use uh, the box heating. Uh, so uncheck it, and then we select this one. Uh, and <coughs> the heating uh, for the VAV box here, we use the electrical one. Uh, electrical one. Right? And then um <coughs> this is for the uh, heating system of the VAV box. And here there is uh, there are some other optional equipment like the lighting. So we can use uh, we can use the, this uh, VAV box to control the lighting. Uh, to control the lighting. So we use uh, select lighting. Uh, this lighting we can use we can use the occupancy uh, occupancy sensor to control it. Uh, so. See, we can select the occupancy here, right? And the uh, room temperature. Uh, the room temperature is to use a uh, thermostat uh, to, uh, uh, for, uh, to control the room temperature. So here, this is the temperature here, the room temperature here is a uh, thermostat, which, which the, the set point can be just can be adjust. And, and then here, this is another uh, another network system uh, we don't have uh, for the uh, for the VAV box. So we go next. Uh, here is the the system uh, the system control logic uh, system control logic. These control logic. Yeah, like the uh, the schedule in the building, the building, uh, the, the building occupancy is the override support. Uh, we set this one override support, which means the uh, the schedule of the building can be uh, uh, op uh, can be set, can be or can be reset by the operator. Uh, so. This one support uh, the override support. And <coughs> for this system, uh, for this system, uh, we, we use sub, uh, supplem uh, supplemental heating system. So this one is a select. Uh, and here, the, uh, the unit enable, uh, we select the imperial. Imperial unit system. So this will be unchecking. And here the, there are some other uh, some other feature, uh, some other features, uh, which is uh, like this: a uh, smoke control. Uh, smoke control. If the VAV box has the smoke control, uh, 
then you can check it, you can select. And if the VAB box have the, the power fail uh, restart logic, then you can select, select. And all other, uh, the energy, uh, energy hold of some, uh, uh, this uh, function, if the VAB box has this function, you can select. The, uh, in our lab here, uh, we don't have the, uh, the other function. Only we can uh, hear the network warm up and cool down support. Uh, this one is the, like the, uh, you know, the system needs to warm up uh, or when it's, uh, it's off. And then it, it, it's a support the warm up process or cool down process. So we select this one. Right? And then we complete. Now we complete and then the, uh, uh, complete the setting for the system. And then the program will be generated uh, uh, automatically. This is the uh, program uh, we complete. Uh, uh, it's automatic generate uh, is the program overview here. This is the uh, program uh, we complete. Uh, uh, it's automatic generate uh, is the program overview here. Uh, this part here, uh, this part here, uh, this is the uh, signal input, uh, signal input. You can see here, uh, uh, discharge air, discharge air velocity pressure signal. This signal is internal input, uh, internal input. Uh, here, this is a zoom, uh, a zoom uh, set point, uh, it's a zoom set point. Zoom set point, which a thermostat uh, has a set point uh, for uh, to input uh, to the system, and this is the room temperature. Uh, zoom temperature is the, the room temperature. Uh, it, it, it is the thermostat uh, input the signal to here. There should be a, a discharge a, a supply air a supply air temperature. The, the uh, VV box uh, supplied air to the to the room to the room, and we uh, <coughs> the VAB box should has a sensor to sense the uh, supplied air temperature, but here it's not shown. Uh, so maybe we miss one step. Uh, we miss one step here. We select system. Yes. Uh, select here. So the, we need to, uh, here, the sensor here, uh, we need to select the uh, supply air temperature. Uh, uh, and then next, and then finish. And then the program, uh, this program, uh, we change some, uh, some uh, we change some uh, system. And then the system <coughs> and the PCT will regenerate the, uh, the program. Right. Now you can see here there is a supply air temperature sensor here. Uh, this sensor uh, in our system we will use the, the RTD uh, RTD sensor uh, to sense the supply air temperature. Uh, this sensor. Uh, this sensor, you can see here. No, put it back. Uh, put it back. Yeah, put it back. Yeah. Yeah. You can see here. No, no, the bottom one. Yeah. You can see here. This is uh, another type. Another type RTD. Uh, the the RTD we have. Uh, the RTD we have we use in here is a different type. So we need to. Uh, do some setting for the input uh, uh, 
for the input system. So we use here to modify the signal. Uh, the RTD we have, uh, the RTD we have here, uh, uh, RTD we have here, this one. This is a resistive type uh, RTD, uh, which means, uh, which means the uh, RTD, uh, if the temperature is changed, the resistance will change. Uh, if the temperature increase, the resistance increase. If the temperature decrease, and then uh, the uh, resistance decrease. So this is a resistive RTD. So we select here. Uh, we select the uh, uh, resistive and update now you can see, uh, you, you can see, you can see here, you see it's a resistive uh, type RTD now, right? And now we double click, uh, double click, we do some setting uh, for the sensor. Uh, here, so we added uh, this value here, uh, if the sensor is different, the material of the sensor is different. Then the value here, uh, the value here are different. So here, we set up for the uh, RTD we have. So here is 32, 32, here, 32, no, 32. Yeah, 32 Fahrenheit degree, and then uh, the input uh, input signal is 101 uh, 101 uh, 101 101.8 ohms uh, 101 here 101 10 101 Yeah, 101.8 uh, ohm. And here, let's go back. Same. Here. And here, E is 212 Fahrenheit degree. Uh, 212 degree. Uh, 212, yes. 212 Fahrenheit degree. And then the output is 138.8. 138.8. Ohms output. So if the input, input signal uh, is 101.8, uh, 101.8 ohm, then the output temperature is 32. Uh, it's 32 here, right? 32, uh, 32 Fahrenheit degree. And here is uh, uh, 212, uh, here is 212. These steps is uh, um, uh, to calibrate for the uh, RTD we have. So now it's apply and close. Uh, now we do uh, for the uh, set point. The set point. The set point, no, uh, no, no, move away. Uh, and then you go here. Yeah, you see the signal here. The signal is SAB, it's SA bus. So the signal is correct because the, um, <coughs> the set point, uh, the set point is the double step. We, we, we use the double step. Uh, we use uh, this double step. Uh, we use the, this double step. This double step is connected to S A bus, and this double step also come with the uh, occupancy sensor. Uh, come with the uh, occupancy sensor, right? So uh, the signal is S A bus. 
it's, it's okay. Then double click, uh, double click here, we do add it. Uh, we need to add it. Here, this is a operator override, which means the operator can do the set, uh, the set point, can set the, uh, the temperature. So this is a, it's correct. Uh, and the default, uh, default value here is uh, 72 Fahrenheit degree. So you can set this, uh, set this number. Uh, you can set uh, 70. Uh, you can set uh, lower temperature or higher temperature. Uh, it's uh, fine for the default, right? So uh, apply and then close. Uh, and then close. And then we see the zone temperature input. Same thing, you see it as A plus. Uh, so which means the thermostat sends the temperature uh, to input to the controller. So this is okay. And then we uh, double, double click to see here <coughs> the uh, default is uh, 72. So it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, and then close. Now we complete the input, uh, we complete the input uh, signal setting, uh, si signal setting. And the output here, uh, output here, is in the, this is an occupancy mode. This is a SA bus, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, so double click. Uh, here, the default, state is the uh, occupied, we should set uh, unoccupied. Uh, we should set the, not here, here yeah, yeah. Okay. And then unoccupied, this one, set this one, yeah. And then apply, and then close. Okay, now we complete the setting for the supply air temperature. And uh, a zone temperature set point and zone temperature uh, sensor. Uh, we complete the setting for the input. Uh, and here, now we uh, click supply flow calculation. Uh, this setting is for the, uh, the VAV box, the duct, uh, the duct air flow the duct area to calculate. Uh, uh, here, uh, edit. Uh, the duct, uh, like the VAV box, uh, the duct uh, diameter is uh, six inches. Uh, the diameter of the uh, VAV box duct is six inches. So in this way, you can calculate the area of the duct, uh, the cross area the duct of the duct is uh, like a point one, uh, point one nine around, uh, let's say point two. Uh, so the area is at uh, uh, point two square feet, uh, point two uh, square feet. Uh, this is the, the area, the cross area of the duct. And we set the pickup gain, uh, we just set to zero uh, for this part here. Uh, uh, set to zero, and then that's it. And uh, apply and close. Okay. Yeah. And then now the uh, a simple, a simple one, the VAV box program, we have complete. Uh, we have complete. Now we uh, we need to load this program uh, to the controller. Uh, uh, this program we have complete. And then we load this program to the uh, controller, uh, like uh, this uh, P PCV controller. Load to the controller. Yeah. So before we load this program, 
to the controller, we need to define uh, define the hardware, uh, define the hardware, which is a uh, um, you select the controller, uh, which controller you load the program to. Uh, so here, uh, this program, uh, and you see the, the this is the, the project we are doing. Uh, we are doing the, uh, this project, and this is the controllers here. So this is not the one we are working on. So we, the controller we are we are working on is uh, PCV uh, PCV 1832. So it's not this one. So we need to select uh, select the the one we have. Uh, so here this is uh, this one. So click it, select this one. This is a FX PCV 1832. This is a the one we are working on. So we select it and OK. Here we'll show you the, the system name. Uh, this the system can, uh, is the, the program uh, we, are, we, are building, uh, we are making. OK. So here we'll show you the controller you are working, uh, you are working on. So, and then we see the point assignment. Uh, point assignment just that uh, some input output points, uh, input output points here. Uh, these points assigned uh, it's automatic, uh, automatically. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes there are uh, some some points not assigned. If not assign, then you manually to uh, assign the points to uh, the input or output. Right. Uh, <coughs> here, uh, these are input signals. Uh, input signal. One is the uh, supply air temperature. Uh, supply air temperature. The supply air temperature we will uh, connect to in uh, input. Uh, input one, uh, input one, or input two, or input three. Either one you can connect it. Here, the points assigned to uh, input one, uh, input one. So the sensor will connect to input one, uh, connect to input one. And uh, here, this is the uh, <coughs> uh, discharge air, uh, discharge air velocity. Uh, this is a uh, you see the, uh, the sensor uh, of the airflow and vel uh, velocity pressure. Uh, this is an uh, internal, uh, internal. You see, this is an analog input, uh, analog input one. This is an uh, internal, uh, this is an uh, internal. This is a, uh, uh, this one, the supplied air uh, <coughs> temperature. This is a universal input, input one. Uh, universal input, input one. Uh, and these are outputs. You can see, you can see here, these are in, um, <coughs> output, uh, output lighting. Uh, output lighting, output uh, uh, the heating, uh, heating. And this is a damper, uh, damper control, uh, output uh, damper control. It's also this out, output is internal. Uh, it's a binary input, binary output. Uh, uh, internal uh, output uh, is a damper control. Right? So the points assigned to each uh, input, output, uh, in, input, output. Uh, and then we see uh, net, uh, network, setting. Uh, network setting. Uh, here is the controllers uh, we, are, uh, we are working on. Uh, this is the controllers we are working on. And here you see the project uh, name, uh, device name, uh, which is uh, this device. Or you can make this device. You can, uh, you can name it, uh, give the name, uh, VMU box, Room one in the building. Uh, room one in the building. Uh, 
So n in m, n in m here. And the device address. Device address is set up by the dip switch. Ah, by the dip switch. Uh, we can, you can set any, uh, any number here, but no repeat in the system. Right? So let's uh, keep, keep this one and we install this one to four. Uh, yeah, uh, keep that here. This is the uh, uh, Insta number. Insta number is the uh, back ID number. Uh, you can set them, they are safe. Uh, then uh, the setting. For the uh, for the hardware, it's okay. So close. Uh, now we complete. Uh, we have complete the program. We can load this program uh, to the controller. So before uh, we load the program to the controller, we need to wire uh, wire the controller in the system. And we need to install uh, install the thermostat uh, the thermostat to this controller. And we need to uh, install a sensor, uh, this sensor to the input, uh, to the input here. The thermostat will connect to S E bus. Uh, the thermostat connect to S E bus. And we also we need to connect the uh, uh, SD bus to the system. Now we connect this one. <coughs> uh, this is a uh, RTB sensor. Uh, RTB sensor. We connect the RTB sensor to the input. Uh, input one here. You can connect to input two uh, or input three. Uh, either one you can connect it. But the program setting is input uh, input two uh, input two. And this later we can check. Uh, we can check it. And also we connect the uh, we connect the uh, thermostat. Uh, this is the thermostat uh, thermostat. <coughs> uh, white wire connect to uh, positive, black connect to negative, and <coughs> yellow connect to common. And then the uh, the purple purple connect to power four terminal. Connect four terminal. And we need to connect the power supply, ten four volt power supply, these two terminals uh, to the uh, controller here. Communication uh, between the computer and the controller is through the Bluetooth device. 
to load the program to the controller is uh, through the, the Bluetooth device. Uh, so we connect the Bluetooth device to uh, this port. Now we load, uh, we load this program uh, to the controller. Uh, we load the program to the controller. Uh, we load the program to this controller. Uh, this uh, PCT, this uh, software, the version is 10.2. Uh, the version is 10.2. 10.1, uh, 10.1, uh, there is a load uh, button at the corner load the program to the uh, load the program to the uh, uh, to the controller and or load the program from the controller to the computer uh, but uh, this is a 10.2 the version is 10.2 so we start from transfer yeah transfer and then to transfer to a device this is a download the program uh, download the program to the uh, controller. And here, to download the program to the controller, it's uh, through the Bluetooth device, uh, which is uh, this one. Uh, this Bluetooth device is connected to here already, right? So uh, this is a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth device. And before we, uh, we do the setting, you need to select this one and click here. The many, uh, this is uh, the bound rate is the, the bit, uh, bit rate, bit speed. So here there are different options. Uh, for this system, it's a uh, 38400. So we select this one. Uh, this is uh, uh, the si system recommended, uh, recommended. The Bluetooth, uh, this is a uh, computer. Uh, computer communicate between the uh, the computer and the controller. It's uh, through the COM port uh, in in the uh, computer. Uh, this one you need to figure out uh, which COM port uh, for the uh, Bluetooth. Right? So we come here. You see, we need to set up for the Bluetooth device. Bluetooth device, and uh, here you can show the Bluetooth device. You can see here, uh, this is the one we have, uh, the Bluetooth here. Uh, this is a MAC address. Uh, this is the, the one we have here, uh, D4-9781. This, this is the one we have here. So it's, it's paired, uh, it's paired, which is a connected. Which is a connected. Uh, but uh, we need to figure out the COM port uh, in the, uh, in the uh, system. Right? So to figure out this one, uh, if this Bluetooth is not show here, then we need to add, uh, we need to add the Bluetooth device. So here, it, sh it shows here. Right? Then we go to we need to figure out the COM port. Uh, so here we go to uh, control panel. Control panel. Uh, here is the uh, view device. Uh, view device. Uh, here, this is the one we are working on. So I click it. The property. And then we can see the service here. And then we will show you the COM port here, COM port number here. You see the COM port 6. 
if it's five, and then you say, you, you, you remember what the comfort here, then okay. Uh, and then close it, close it. So the here, it just input the number, comfort number here. It's a six, so it's max. And this is a connecting uh, the computer and the uh, controller is connected. Now it's connected. Uh, connected. So you can see here the system. You can see here uh, this is the one you are working on. So select it and then next. So here, now you can see, ah, you can see here, the lights, the Bluetooth, the, the blue lights, it's, it's on, which means the computer and the controller, they are communicate to each other now. Ah. So they are communicating ah, each other now. Ah. Now you can see here, but it's a fail. Uh, it's fail to get the controller information. Uh, there's some problem. Uh, or there's some setting. Okay. Okay. So uh, to figure out the uh, the uh, the problem, uh, to figure out the problem, uh, it could be the address. Uh, it could be the address setting here. Uh, this address is. Uh, here, the dip switch is eight, two, and one are on. So the uh, the address, uh, the address is eleven. Uh, the address is eleven. So uh, the program you need to go back here, cancel, and then we need to define define the hardware and to network setting here, the address should be 11. Here, uh, we set of number four. So we need to change it. Yeah, and then uh, it's okay, close. And then again, transfer to device. Uh, we sa yes, save because we make some changes. And here, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. And then next. Uh, again, uh, here it's connecting. Uh, connecting the Bluetooth. And now it's connected. Uh, and then select this one. It's highlight already. So then next. Ah, it's con uh, connect right now. Uh, click finish the uh, program. Uh, the program is lo uh, loading uh, from the computer uh, to the uh, controller. Right? And now it's 41% uh, 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 complete, 83% complete. Right? So this, this is here, show the status. Uh, here also show uh, indicate some uh, information of the controller. Uh, it says the address is 11. The controller is the controller. Uh, FX uh, PCB uh, 1832. So now it's complete. Uh, so this program it's load uh, load to the uh, controller already. And next part, uh, next part is the uh, how to operate, uh, how to commission the program.